Tessa is a bubbly, happy nine-year-old girl who loves any type of girl things. Glitter, unicorns, rainbows. She loves going out and trying new things. She just did surfing, she's done skiing, she loves dance, music, anything your average little girl loves. She started here at kindergarten. We knew we wanted her to come here because we knew there would be better opportunity for her here than at any other school. Hi, my name is Tessa. Oh, I knew I'm gonna miss it. Let me just do this one more. Hi, my name is Tessa. Oh my God, okay, let me just do this one more. Hi, my name is Tessa, and this is a day in life of me as a student at the Henry River Study School. I'm getting ready to start my day. Follow me. We start the day, the teachers will take our attendance and having a snack and to learn a little sheet of multiplication. Some of my favorite things to learn are math, reading, writing, social studies, and like science. Well, then I went to OT and we did a circuit and it was a doorbell that sings like, that, like plays music. Here, they offered aquatic therapy, interactive, Therapies, period, you know, speech. She does PT and OT. We do typing sometimes, writing, a lot of things with my hands, which I really like doing. Then it was off to jam. It's good for the arms, and it's good for like when you push yourself or whatever activity you're doing. And it's also good for your mind and brain. And then after that, we had book club with Miss Christina's class. And we read Junie B. Jones. She is so hilarious. If you haven't read her books, you gotta go read them now. Like right now, when you see this video, go to the store and buy them. You're gonna laugh so hard. This is not sponsored, just buy them. Then I went off to lunch time by lunch. My friends are Jasmine and Juliana. And then the boys sit at their own table. I had chicken nuggets and mashed potatoes. And then I went back to my Stephanie's class. And that's when we were learning about origami. And then we did some Japanese culture because the theme of summer school is around the world. And this week is Japan. First, I traced my like, my name Tessa. And then I traced my first name and my last name. We did a Polish coup. And then on Friday, we're doing a Japan coup, which is exciting and I'm really excited for it. It's just really fun. And every time we do this, I always say, I want to go to this country, I want to go to this. Because when I get older, I want to travel around the world. She does talk about a lot of things that she wants to do when she grows up. I could see her going into the field of being able to help people. She loves helping other people. She loves the social aspect. She loves talking to everybody. She loves being able to interact with her peers, her teachers, and just, just anybody here. And then there's all the after-school activities, basketball, Friday night rec, where the kids really get treated as though it's normal, like it's a normal day at school and it's not anything keeping them back from doing things they feel like they can't do. There's dance, baking, there's art, and then you have dinner with like your friends, which is fun. You never knew you could have dinner with your friends unless they come over to your house. Oh yeah, I love going to the pool. I love gym, I love art. Um, I also like making slime, being creative, making bracelets. I love drawing. I have a big sketchbook. I like doing that kind of stuff. I'm like a crafty, dancing, singing person. She has grown emotionally here. She found a lot of support from staff to find her inside voice and get her voice out there and get her voice heard for any type of needs that she has or wants. Everybody from the cook in the kitchen to her regular teachers, to her PT, to the bus ladies, to, I mean, everybody in the school finds a way to really have them have their voices heard and really flourish and grow and become amazing little people. Thank you for watching A Day in the Life of me, Tessa, as a student at the Henry Viscardi School.